Hey there guys, this is Reckles with Want to Buy Gold, and today we're taking a look at how to build trade skill master groups in three increasingly uh, more intricate, uh, more advanced methods. So we're going to start off at the super basic stuff. And I'm going to start this off with a story. So a Want to Buy Girlfriend is uh, getting going. She has a 120 now, and uh, she's really enjoying going out and uh, farming things, but she she hasn't ever been a gamer. She doesn't want to devote all day, every day to gold making like I do. Okay, so here's Trade Skill Master. We're starting with a clean slate. There are no groups set up. Uh, what we did for her uh, was, first off, two auctioning uh, operations. The first one, we're just gonna make a new one and we're gonna call this singles. These are all the transmog items. Uh, and like transmog things, things you only wanna sell one of. Uh, so we're gonna set our post cap to one, posted stack size to one. And then, you know what, all this, we're gonna say screw it and we're just gonna go super simple, 70% DB market. And then we're gonna copy that paste it, uh, the maximum price, 200% DB market, and the normal price is 100% DB market. So super simple operations, it's not the best, uh, but it works. It works, it does what you want it to uh, for, for basic gold making. Now, uh, beyond that, we're going to duplicate that, and we're gonna call this stackable. Now, uh, this is the, the UI for this is gonna change in 8.3 because uh, stack sizes aren't going to exist anymore, but you still need to make the decision of if you're gonna, like how many you're gonna sell of any one item. So here, we're just gonna do stack size of 50, post cap to uh, 20, and there we go. So post a thousand in in 8.3 it'll probably just be like quantity so we can we want to post a thousand up on the auction house at all times and this is fine so now we need to make two groups we're gonna make one group of singles and we're gonna make another group whoop, 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 whoop. i messed up i messed up delete that we're gonna make another group of stackable so, we went through and we farmed a whole bunch of Cinder Bloom, Elementium, uh, Volatile Earth, Fire, Life, and Whiptail. And so we add that to our stackable group, and we make sure that our two new operations, stackable, are to a stack the stackable group, and singles are put on the singles group, and that's it! We're done! We're done. Anytime you log off, like before you log off or before you actually go and auction something, you just want to go through here and determine what you want to be selling. So if there's a transmog in here, then you just select that and you put it in the new group. If there's anything you want to sell multiples of, you just put it in the stackable group. So that is the basic method. But what if you don't have the item in your bags. What do you do then? So I'm gonna hop over to my demon hunter and we'll show you that. Okay, and here we are on Swippy. He has the best transmog in the game. And I'd say fight me on that, but I think he would like that. I don't know. Something about pain as a resource. I had to do the cage helm. Anyway, so if you don't have everything in your bags, courting a video. Okay, so if you don't have everything in your bags, there's some cool things you can do with the defaults. So I just open up Leatherworking, and uh, if if this is what you see by default, there's a little TSM4 thing in the top right. You click that and it opens up the TSM interface of uh, that profession. Click on Groups, and then there's this uh, little triple button thing here. You click Create Profession Groups. And just like that, we're gonna clear our queue Check this out, check this out. So that is literally all I've done. We're using the same profile that had singles and stackables. Um, and in the, those like three button clicks, here we go. We've got every craftable item 
that I know in leatherworking, which is like a thousand items. I've been scrolling for a while. We're not even through C yet. So this is a super easy way. You can just go through all of your professions, do the create profession group for each profession. Okay, so there are two problems with this setup. The first is that as you learn new recipes, they aren't automatically included. So uh, anytime you learn something new, if when you go to groups and you say restock selected groups, give it a second, there we go, 17 million gold worth of crafts. Um, if when you uh, go and do your restocks, you need to click create profession groups anytime you learn a new recipe. If you're just going for 50% or 75% on kruthni.net forward slash recipes, just do this once a day. The second problem is if you are trying to do any fancy uh, bank warehousing stuff. So uh, here I've got my bank and I can do TSM bank UI and I can say, uh, let's see, auctioning. I can say move all this stuff to bank and it automatically puts all of that stuff into my bank. But maybe that's not what you'd actually want to do because the materials are just all the materials used in uh, your, your, your leatherworking crafts. So Arctic fur and black whelp scale and black and dragon scales. Those are obviously uh, uh, leatherworking and skinning materials, but arcane dust, arcana, uh, whereas elixir, you know, essence of earth and air, elixir of lesser agility, that's an alchemy craft, but because it's used for one specific chest piece, it's, and because you made your leatherworking group first, then it's put in leatherworking. So there are a couple ways around this problem. You can either uh, go through and test out making, you know, creating profession groups in a specific order and see if that automatically pulls things uh, to uh, the material section that you want first. But if let's say, let's just right here, we'll make an alchemy group. We'll just, there we go. So uh, we'll go in here and we'll pull this under alchemy. And then we'll get elixir of lesser agility and minor agility and wisdom. And if you hover over remove three items, it says hold shift to move the items to the parent group instead of removing them. So we do that remove those three items, and then we put this back under leatherworking, and now Alchemy has those three things in it. So it'll take a while. It'll take a while to get it to do exactly what you want it to do if you're doing warehousing stuff. Um, there's lots of different approaches you can take, but uh, this is how you kind of fix all the little shenanigans that show up. But now we're gonna get a little bit more nerdy and we're gonna show y'all some amazing stuff. Okay, so here I am on my uh, speed set druid and uh, this is Loa of Fast and she is my transmog farmer essentially. My recommendations for general gold making. You, know, you first want to restock your professions. You know, make everything profitable with leatherworking or blacksmithing or alchemy, whatever profession you enjoy doing things and uh, you'd be willing to uh, use that profession daily. Don't just focus on current content crafts. Restock everything profitable. Let TSM handle it. That 17 million gold that you saw, that's... I mean, that was making three of everything. I'd only want to make one of everything. So I'd have to figure out my crafting operations there. But do that first. And then you can level up a speed set druid and go out and do some transmog farming. And you can make a lot of gold doing transmog farming or uh, recipe farming or any of that stuff. But those are secondary professions. But one of the problems with transmog farming is that you don't have the item in your bag. Like you, you're, you're not going to get 
every single piece of transmog in the game, it's going to take you a little while and you don't necessarily want to add them one by one. So what can you do? Well, we're going to open this up and we've got our groups right here. So let's say, let's call this one transmog. And all right, what are we going to do? Let's say you're going, you're going really, really hard. And so you have a subgroup call for plate and then you have another subgroup for mail and you have another subgroup for leather and you have another subgroup whoops you have another subgroup for cloth and then there would also be weapons and rings and and all that stuff but if you want to order these then a little trick is you can, uh, and we'll just do them by difficulty. You just put a number in front of them. So this is two. And then this would be, I mean, these are actually already in alphabetical order, so that works. But if you also wanna, ha if you wanna have weapons first or something, uh, then you can do this. All right, so let's say you even go more thorough than this. We have vanilla. So the reason why you might want to separate these out into like vanilla and BC and above is because you use a different operation. Like you, there's the, um, you know, all the, all the expansion transmog tends to be a little bit inflated in price it's it's a little bit awkward so maybe if you're selling things with a percentage of the regional price as your auctioning operation you'd want to sell it you'd want your minimum to be a lower percentage and so you'd need these things in a different group and then maybe you are selling helms shoulders and chests at a different operation, uh, you, you sell those at a different percentage than you sell uh, boots and gloves and waist. So helm, shoulder, chest, legs. And then uh, we'd have this be other, other slots. So how do we find vanilla Helm, shoulders, chest, legs. How do we get all of those items in here? Okay, so here we are on tradeskillmaster.com and I hope this blows some of y'all's minds because it's amazing. We're gonna go to auctions at the top and then groups and view all groups. And we're gonna just search transmog. We can sort this by view count. Oh, look, look, one to buy gold transmog. One to buy gold full transmog list. Oh God, is it not loading? I don't think it's gonna load. All right, so this is a list of all of the transmog that I manually put in one by one from my transmog farming. So it's not a complete list and it has a few profession items in it, but what you can do for anything like this, let's do, let's use a better, a better option, a better, hold on, hold on. So we'll do 8.2. Here we go, 8.2 cooking mats. We're going, here are all the uh, uh, materials used in 8.2 cooking. We're gonna go back to the game Let's say this was our cooking group and we had it automatically make like items and materials. Um, and what you wanted to do was sell the new current content materials um, at a different operation. Uh, you wanted to sell more of them than you wanted to sell old content materials. So you just go in here import export click on this and then you paste in all of the current content materials and just like that we've got it all in here and then you could separate out things that um 
you know, vendor. You know, things that are from the vendor. You can just go in through here. Fusaka, fresh potato, um, wildflower, wild berries. And that's all I can see right now. So there you go. Now you have a group that you can assign. I want to keep 200 of each of these up on the auction house all the time. Uh, and I just buy them from a vendor. So you can just go to the vendor, click the groups things, and it just auto buys everything. It's great. Let's go a little bit crazier. Okay, so that's using other people's lists that they've already created. But I've always recommended that y'all use your own mindset. Make your own groups. Make your own operations. And then when something messes up, you, you aren't using an import that you have no idea what everything does. I just talked to someone today who accidentally uh, sold a 10,000 gold recipe for 26 gold because their minimum price was so low. So here's what you do. Here's what you do. Let's go. We're doing our transmog group. We're going armor, plate. We want in our group helms, shoulders, chests, and legs. We want uncommon quality items. And we want them to be added in expansion. None. I'm lagging really bad with uh, Wowhead right now. So one second, I'm going to jump forward. We're just doing uncommon chests from vanilla that are not crafted by a profession that are binds when equipped. And we're doing eye level... We're, we're doing the level 40 to 60 items. Uh, so let's say that's what you're focusing on. You're just focusing on the like Zulfarak and above items. And here we go. We've got the Chromite chest plate, the Glorious, the Jade, the Exalted, the Saltstone, the Lofty, the Vanguard. These are all, we've got these weird duplicate things going on, but these are all the core items that you uh, sell, uh, the, the core sets in plate that you sell. Hyperion, field plate, alabaster is all right. But here's what you do with this. You can highlight some of these or the whole thing. You copy it. And then we go over to Trade Skill Master and we say, Create a group. And you go in here and you paste, you literally just paste the page in. And look at this shit. Look at this. Because the Trade Skill Master development team are so awesome, they actually, you can actually just copy and paste in a website and it gives you the import string. So then we go in here and we say import export. Import, confirm, and just like that, our vanilla, vanilla plate helm group has all of the, we, do, we don't have multiple of the chromite breastplates, and something you can do um, for this whole transmog group, uh, maybe you don't want to, uh, you don't want to have like, of the fire flash and of the firefall, uh, uh, of the wind walker, of the tiger, of the whale, all of that stuff in there. You want to get rid of those. You just want one emerald breastplate. You don't want 14 different ones. Then this button right here, ignore item variations. Make sure you click that. And then uh, just go through and we're just. I'm just going to confirm that ignore item variations is on here just in case it doesn't carry over. So that's it. I always say that Trade Skill Master can be as simple or as complicated as you want it to be. Uh, with One to My Girlfriend, we just separate things into singles or stackables. Generally, the stackable are uh, the herbs and ore that, that she farms up, and the singles are transmog. But if you really want to drill down and you want to sell different pieces of transmog in different ways, with different operations, and slightly, you want 45% of DB market as your minimum rather than 50%, and you want 65% on this, and you want to account for 
uh, posting fees on this and have a a one percent per posting uh, 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 reduction in price for l older than vanilla, you know, BC and above transmog. You can do that, and you can get your groups as complicated as the Wowhead filters will allow you to. Before I go, my final plea with you guys: don't use an import. Please start off with as simple a setup as you want. And then as you get going and as you start to figure out, hold on, I'm in the middle of a duel. As you start to figure out uh, what you, you actually want and you start to understand how TSM uh, uh, puts your decision-making process into codes, once you start to figure out how operations work, then expand make it a little bit more complicated make little subgroups you'll be on your way to making as much gold as you want to in as little time as uh you you want to uh devote to it so that's it subscribe if you enjoyed the video if i went too fast on certain parts or i went too slow on certain parts leave your questions down below but other than that have a great day everybody good luck and happy gold making